All right, just a little bit of a notice before I continue this challenge. I actually died at World 3, but I wanted to make it further than that. So I wanted to start all over again from World 1. And then I realized I had uploaded Part 1 already. And I don't want to take down Part 1 and re-upload it again. The video has already been viewed, commented on, rated, and all that stuff. So I said, dang it, next time I was going to do... When I do a challenge video, it's going to be one full video uploaded. And the video, this challenge could be a little too long. And sometimes I like to d divide my videos to different parts because not everybody wants to sit there and watch a long 30 minute or so video. So, but then remember, also I had to, I have to stop at a thousand seconds when recording with Cam Studio because if for some reason it wants to be lame and crash on me, if it records too longer, too long past a thousand seconds, and so the last safe state where I stopped at because the camp studio was in the King's Castle in World 2 right before the airship. So from there and then I made it to World 3 and I died. And I said, no, I want to make it further than this. So I wanted to start over, but again, I couldn't because I already uploaded part one of the Mario Bros. 3 challenge. And so I was like, all right, so here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be a semi no death run challenge because I did die. And but the last place I could start over at, unless I wanted to start this whole series over, which I don't really feel like is necessary, is the airship in World Two. So starting with the airship in World Two is where I don't die. So it's kind of a semi. I guess you could say from now on this is a one death run challenge. That's why the video was called that. So yeah, one death run challenge. And after this, if I die again, that's it. I'm done. So. And then I find out I lost the uh, most of the footage to World 2, so I had to start over anyway. And so you'll notice right when I get to World 2 Castle that there is a quick cut. I have different lives, and you know uh, you can tell where I do the cut. So I don't want you guys to think I'm cheating. So I'm being honest with you right now. This is now a one death run, starting with the World 2 airship. And this challenge has been tough. Now, let's see if I can actually complete the challenge, starting with the World 2 airship. So, there's a long explanation. For now on, any challenge videos I do will be uploaded as one whole video, instead of dissecting it to different parts, because I never know when I'm going to actually die. And I want this to be legit, and not cheat, and pretend like I didn't die at World 3 when I did, or whatever. So... At least I'm keeping this challenge real. Alright, so here we go finally with part two. Alright, so world two, we're here in Egypt. Alright, get the star. I thought there was something up there. I think it is, but I just missed it. Oh well, forget it. And this is the other world where you get the warp whistle. You get two warp whistles in World 1, and then the third one is in this one. Alright, my nice. level is finished already. Mini castle in World 2. Watch out for a thromp. Ah, I fell. Uh, 
There's Boo Hoo. Boo Hoo? Watch out for the spikes. Mario Bros. 3 is where Boo makes his debut. Here's Bam Bam again. He just got stomped. Yes, card game, but forget that right now. Hey, those flying fire caterpillars, wherever the heck they are, it's weird. Imagine those in real life coming after you. Jeez, it'd be freaking scary. These little bricks are fun. The jumping bricks, it's fun to jump on them. This part's fun to watch right here. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I thought he was done. I thought he was going to go lower on that. Oops, I messed up. Oh, well, st still beat the level anyway. He's W. Come at me, hammer bro. I'm sorry, boomerang bro. Well, they still look like Hammer Brothers on the map screen. Oh, uh, this level right here, I would always get pwned at. That sun would always take me out. Sun got against me. Come on. Pwned. And I shut up, Toad. Didn't come to visit you. Came to Jack. Some of your items over here. Oh. A toad head. Great. Well, there's better than nothing. If I am going to beat this game without dying, I really do need to stock up. And there's one more hammer brother left, but that's the one that has the whistle, and we don't need that. Chain Chomps make their debut in this game. They're on steroids in Mario 64. Yes, the pyramid level. These midget gorillas return from Mario Brothers 1. I think they call fuzzy beetles actually, I forgot. Fuzzy, I say bu fuzzy beetles, whatever. I mean, a fuzzy, like, there's nothing fuzzy about them. This is one of those ironic names, like, a big guy may have the name Tiny, but he's not Tiny. Nice. Done with this level already.
right here is where the quick cut starts. Alright, so here we go. Let me get the card game first. Nice. So the footage you just saw up to this point was where the footage that I lost and I had to start over, get to this point, the last save state. And it was some time after this where I did end up dying in World 3 from stupid death. When I fell into a pit where I already jumped, but anyway. And so I've been starting over from this point because I already uploaded part 1 of Grassland. So from here all the way to wherever is where the challenge is legit. <laughs> well, I guess there's one death challenge, and I did start over from gr Grassland, Glassland, from Grassland until the airship right here to make the challenge more legit, so I can at least be honest with myself and say, hey, at least I started over from the very beginning and didn't die. I know it's all complicated, but anyway, this is pretty much now one death challenge. Yeah, I learned my lessons. Do the challenge in one full video, stop dividing into different parts. So, Airship World 2, Morton Cooper Jr. is the boss. So, <laughs> these things right here, dogs or whatever they are, throwing wrenches or bones at you. So it's not Bowser Jr., it's Morton Cooper Jr. So who's Morton? So is Morton Cooper Jr. adopted? Here he is, he does look like, kind of like Bowser, emo version of Bowser when he was a kid. Pretty easy, just stomp a juice bag three times like that and that's it. What a challenge. So to this day I can't figure out how Mario doesn't die right here falling from the sky. If we try to pull that in Mario 64 he'd be dead. As King Dr. Wily is back to normal now. Or King Dr. Light. Shut up, Toad. Idiot. So that's the end of part two of this challenge. I will see you guys in part three. And let's see if I can beat World 3 this time without dying. Until then, God bless and take care.